Hello and welcome back to Crew 42's coverage of the 2023 River City Open presented by Great Lakes Disc. We are here at Byron Center, Michigan at Brewer Park, famous event here, one of Michigan's top three events. It is our feature card for the back nine. I have RJ Santala with me on the commentator's mic. How you doing, RJ? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Awesome. Taking a look at our front nine scores, Luke and Andrew on a whole nother level, looking to chase down that uh, a lot of green course record still. Yeah, Luke even with the spectacular drop in eagle on famous hole four. Wyatt and Chandler have decent rounds still, but compared to what we're seeing, this is they're they're yeah. falling behind. Yeah. Crazy to say, just five down, and you're already back three strokes, and they're hoping to keep them here, get some strokes in the back nine, starting with hole 10. 340 feet, excuse me, kind of just a distance check hole. No longer has any OB around it anymore. Um, so you just really want to throw a hyzer underneath the canopy that's in front of you on the tee pad and just kind of get it there. Yeah, probably plays like 360, 370 uphill, and then uh, it's a headwind. It, I mean, it 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 might not be a headwind, but it, it is a headwind on this hole. Yeah, the elite arms are just kind of pitching it. Yeah, a big hyzer with like a distance driver. Yep. You might see some guys go with a fairway i just like the disc that's just perfect exactly what you want to do yeah that's that. just hanging out on the right side kind of again where that long grass and the short grass kind of meet mm -hmm. where the circle kind of bulges out and then just let it hyzer at the very end it, it always lands soft because it's finishing uphill this one what do you think probably if i had a guess like how it plays uh to the field it's like yeah i would say this field. has got to be the top three easiest holes really that yeah. i mean it's still a pump I get that it's pump, but I'm saying like this is an A tier. Most people who are at this event have True. 360 yeah. power. Yeah, I would um, say and as, and today the wind is ex does exist, but it's definitely not as bad as it could be for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and These so guys are making it look really easy. That's, yeah, I mean, what is just just tell me what it stop teasing me. It's what second, is it? second easiest. Second. Have we gotten to the first easiest? No. Uh, I think I have an idea what the first easiest. Good, is. good, good. I will see if you're right when we get to it. But yeah, whole uh, skip. Hole 10 is playing as the second easiest yeah, hole. Yeah, I guess no danger. And so, like, one of the things that I really like about Shea uh, is that he's willing to listen to feedback and from the players and uh, if they think making certain changes would be good or bad or not. Because this used to be a keyhole OB. They got rid of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, like, seeing that it's been the second easiest, you know, just talking to Shea and the TD and the staff here to talk about, like, maybe there needs to be a change to make it more difficult or mm -hmm. they can keep it if they think it – uh, rhythm wise it fits the course and just kind of because it is a distance check it really is yep. you know if do you have 360 and if it's windy this hole isn't the second easiest hole right so, if it's a headwind it makes you got to throw something real stable yeah and when you're throwing something that's stable it, you know it could get a little funky if you don't get the angles right so it's definitely definitely a hole worth talking about i know they have talked about it a little bit uh, I'm very it's interested. It's too see. long to make it like an island, so you have yeah. to do like that peninsula thing. Yeah. Then... It gets a little weird and wonky from that. Yeah. It's like you'd have to like kind of almost make it wider. Yeah. This hole, probably, again, one of the more signature holes out here. You got the double Mando, 336 downhill. It probably plays about 300, I'd say. Um, yeah, just throw it straight. I mean, you can throw a hyzer. I've seen, I mean, if it's if it's a headwind, which again, this is kind of a popular, once you're going back this way, it, sometimes it's a headwind. Mm -hmm. You can throw like a like a firebird-like disc, hang yeah. it at that right tree, let it hyzer in and crash. That looks like, and he's just throwing, I don't know what that was. I don't either. Oh, Nudge what a good tree. kick. Yeah, because that if that misses that root there, yep. that is a really tough up and down or he misses the mando and i think there's two things that are important for this hole too one that left tree is in front of the right one mm -hmm. which means the right hand hyzer is more open than the yeah. left hand a oh, forehand for sure. or the left hand approach yeah and the missed mando lines are vi i it's hard to describe are forgiving in the sense that if you're just barely past that tree mm -hmm. you're you might not have missed the mando yet yeah because they it's painted really it but really it makes it a tough shot. Yeah, that that second shot is Super so easy. hard. Yeah, that is definitely missed the man. Yeah, that's too far forward. But like you, you can't almost get it that high. He was too high. That was yeah. the problem. Because you're you, you are throwing downhill, and then a lot of times again, this is will be a headwind. I keep saying that, but it. I mean, the wind does matter on this course because it's so wide open. Once especially you get, in the back. Especially once you get to the back nine, you're kind of sheltered on the front nine because you do play a little bit more in the woods. Uh, but yeah. And then this putt is just tough because it's that branch that's right above the basket really limits your ceiling, mm -hmm. and it's just so hard to. And get And they the trimmed run. it. 
Yeah, it, it used to be it, lower. It used to be lower. You just have to <laughs> fire. You'd almost have to throw it from that far, which is it's probably like sixty five ish mm-hmm. feet, I'd say. Maybe right, just, yeah, out just the circle, circle too. Yeah. Yeah. Why just having to pitch up there yeah. from a bad spot? That that bush is in a good spot for punishing you for like laying up, going short. And then this is kind of you'll see this a lot. Ooh, Ooh. good run though. Yeah, yeah just neither. didn't quite get the hyzer right. And this is just inside, probably. Yeah, I think, yeah, right on the, yeah, you can see the circle to his right. He's right on the line, it looks like. And that's going to be another birdie and a stroke. I do love when these Chainstar Pros catch on that third ring. It just, like, hangs mm-hmm. right there, and it just, I don't know. Looks very, pretty. It's very satisfying. It's like when you swish a basketball. Mm. You know, it just has, like, that pure, like, it didn't hit, like, any part of the red. It just hit only chains, you know? Yep. I don't know. Fortunate bogey there for yep, Chandler. It, this one almost feels like it's a two or a four on the right day because yep. if you make that Mando, it, it really kind of becomes an easier birdie. Obviously, if you are short like Wyatt and Luke, where you know then obviously the par is more in play. But right, hole twelve now, three hundred eighty feet. Uh, it does finish downhill, so it probably plays a little under that three eighty, probably closer to three sixty, three fifty. Yeah, you really want to pump something out to the right side and let it hyzer in towards this basket. This it, has got to be the easiest. One. It it does slope downhill, so if you have the wrong angle, you could get away from mm-hmm. the basket a little bit. But you are correct. This is in fact the easiest yeah. hole on the course. This is the same. A lot of times you're throwing the same disc as you did on hole ten on this one because yep. it's just like a stable it, it's again, the same it's, shot yeah just it's very flat. Spin, yeah <gasps> way short yeah, a little short that like, got a really good roll though Come on, keep rolling probably just outside the circle you just want to really yeah it, it it's kind of similar to nine mm-hmm. where you think it was an it was enough hung, like out to wide enough but uh then it finished too far left because of the roll that's probably exactly what you want to do there yep super wide let it and he's got more than enough power for this so he's going super wide extra stable and just letting the disc do the work yep that's what you want to do let gravity work uh kind of a crappy hole for lefties because you got to go left of that big tree and gravity's kind of working against you sometime on this one with the lefty shot that's, that's just why you don't see a lot of forehands on this one Yep. Just out drove the basket going the long way yeah <laughs> like yeah. he somehow got too far right I've seen people go to the parking lot just getting too crazy. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's... Again, Unfortunate another, break. There's not a lot of very good uh, lefty holes except, like, the first couple. Yeah. That first hole. first beginning stretch, he's probably loving the course, <laughs> then gets on a hole four. is like, I no longer love the course. Yeah, for real. He has, like, one good more or though. two more holes that kind of favor him. Oh, he was a lot shorter than I thought. Yeah, circle two edge, maybe? Yeah, at best. Still no jump. Oh, no. Yeah, because this, this one can run away from you if you get too crazy. So I, I assume he didn't go to a jump because I usually he would jump from that far. But he just didn't want to get too too hectic on the, yeah. on the if he misses everything. Let it roll away. Yeah. Besides, he has a stroke to give to Luke, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for now. Luke's looking to get that right back after giving one up, and mm-hmm. it's still crazy. You know, Luke has an eagle in this case, right? He has an extra par compared to Marweed. Marweed parring this hole means that he has birdied 10 of 12. Yeah. It's, I mean, he's still playing just out of his mind. Luke is somehow able to keep up with him. Chandler and Wyatt are still – I mean, they still have decent rounds going on, but, like, you can just tell. Wyatt needs, Wyatt needs to get it going here. Yeah. He's had a lot of par stretches. He needs to get – And this is, like, the not the part of the course where you want to feel like you need to start getting birdies because mm-hmm. it gets tougher and tougher as you go. Another tap-in par. Unfortunate break. Like I said, you mentioned it. Easiest hole on the round, so definitely didn't want to lose a stroke to that one. But it's going to get only harder for him here. Yeah, again, this is another just hyzer with a stable disc. A lot of times you're throwing the same one on, at least I do. I throw 10, 12, 13, same disc. Overstable distance driver hanging out wide on the right side. The bushes do play out of bounds, which is kind of uh, something they do for this event specifically. Mm-hmm. Um, the first one usually doesn't come into play. The second one definitely does, though, because it's it's usually like a right to left win, so you really got to hang it out there um, and trust the disc. And that's, that's what really Luke good. did. The the big mistake I see with that win read too is that they put it out wide right with a disc that because they can't throw as stable mm-hmm. as Luke can because Luke yeah. Luke has the power to throw something extra overstable. I'm cranking on my yeah. stable d- distance driver to get it there because it's. 
it definitely plays probably like 380 at minimum. Mm -hmm. Um, And and so what happens though is like you leave it out wide right right there. Yeah. Also another thing, if you come in with like the the angle like that, it just catches that soft dirt. Yeah, you really want to spike it right at the basket. But like if you leave it too far right and you try to leave it to get that wind read, they tend to over crank it. Like Mm -hmm. you're saying, you have to throw it really hard. Yep. And so you flip it over. That's perfect. What Andy just said. That's exactly what you want to do. And then you just leave yourself forever right. Yeah. And so like. Luckily, like you said, Marweed got a perfect execution. This is just the worst hole for the lefties. <laughs> the yeah. worst. And I'm sorry why we were talking. It almost sounded like this is a good lefty hole. Of course, like, no, 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 no. Only the beginning See is. It. Too high. It's going to hyze her out. It's really terrifying to have to throw. Because I assume this was that right to left win that we've been mm-hmm. talking about. And to have to throw a turnover left hand backhand with OB. Yeah, it's... You might have even just been thinking like pars best case on this one. Yeah, and and for him that's probably the case. I mean, fifteen for a lot of righty players is like the acceptable par too, even mm-hmm. though it's very scorable. Because yep. if you don't have that turnover forehand. control or forehand, then it's a tough hole. Chandler just a touch low. Yeah, this one being elevated too, definitely a good change. Mm-hmm. I don't remember if it was elevated before they it, changed yeah, it. Yeah, it was, but it didn't have the rock. Yeah, the rock is nice. I I do like the rock. Because that will catch a lot of stuff that spikes yep. by the by the baskets. Mm-hmm. It Don't used get... to be like a bucket and then just long oh, pole. Yeah, yeah. Definitely and then they tried to put like a couple koozies on it and it just looked kind of weird. Looks nice. Yeah, this this looks way better. Yeah. Good change. One day they're going to engrave on it too. I don't know if they actually will. I'll just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be cool. This is Mount Brewer. Marby. Highest point of the course. <laughs> I think it probably is, probably though. Like, is, it's though. pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> what a name. Just one last tap in here from Wyatt for a par. We're going to move ourselves. Ooh. <laughs> that was a little low. That was a riser. Uh, we're going to move ourselves on to hole 14. Probably my favorite change since the since redesign. 2015, Great Lakes Disc has been supporting players at all levels. From local leagues and events to professional disc golfers on the Disc Golf Pro Tour. Visit GreatLakesDisc.com to learn more. All right, here it is. Hole 14. Uh, Par 3, 461, very downhill. The old play used to be to throw over the top and try to crash it down. The trees in the middle of the fairway are starting to grow a little too tall to do that consistently, although you still can if you have really big, big power. Flex, yeah. yeah, like Jared Stoll, those guys will try to do that still and hit this kind of tree over the basket. Really what these guys are likely more to do now is to throw something low and flip it to flat mm-hmm. and just let it ride down the hill as fast yeah. as possible. The wind read is just is the, everything on this hole. Because so, a lot of times it does have like that right to left headwind mm-hmm. and this is just this is pipe moat get up there yeah that's so good yeah that's perfect because oh. you don't really have to throw a distance driver it the the whole as long as the um the angle the nose angle is right mm-hmm. it's going to carry it all the way down there because it probably plays probably even close to 400 i'd say because andy's not throwing a 460 foot forehand skip over that yeah, that's really good. No, he's only he throwing. He put off. a lot of angle yeah, on that, did. too. That's the, you remember a hole three of that disc? The yeah. Yellow, it's the same disc. Yeah, that was super a, stable. Yeah. That one might be like a hyper cane or something like Or a very stable hurricane. Yeah, special blend. This is probably like a nuke or something like that. Yeah, this is that flex over the top, which you really got to commit high to that. that yep. I, don't, I don't really like that shot because if you don't get it turned over enough, yeah. you're into that that uh pine tree the stuff to the left yeah. and that is thick and thorny in there i have had thorns in my hands after uh, trying to get my desk this is actually probably a good lefty hole because you could just go big, big hyzer, hyzer like why it did but he uh unfortunately as soon as i got out there you couldn't see it from the camera angle it just went dead flat yeah just like flattened out and the wind pushed it and actually landed on the pad of 15 mm-hmm. that's yeah that's common but he's got this little gap so he's going to try to poke it up and over all those into thorn bushes. the light. Throw it into the light. <laughs> Go towards the light. Yeah, that's great. And he did. Good recover for him. That's going to be another par. Unfortunately, it's five pars in a row. Ugh, yeah. yeah. Not the course you want to do that on, but he's did had he a couple of rough. Did he get nine? No. Yeah, he got whole nine. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it'll be five in a row. You. This is not a course you want to do that at. Chandler from way downtown up and over the basket. Give it a little bit too much. A little bit too much want. Mar Reed for 12 through 14. Yep. Yeah. Cash. Still has course record in play here. Yeah. 
Got to birdie them out. But, yep. I mean, the fact that they're, I mean, Luke and him are just running away right now. Yeah, this is, a, this is, this is the pace that, like, right now where Andrew's at, if you ended your round at 12 down, you feel I good mean, about your day. I mean, that's like a 10.30 yeah. at bare, bare minimum round. Yeah, yeah. feels I great. Mean, Right? You're like, yeah, that's that's what I wanted to do. And Marby's like, no, 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 I have four more birdie holes. I have four more holes. Four more birdie holes I can yeah. go for. <laughs> it's yeah. just like, yeah, just crazy. Him and Luke just at another level right yeah. now. Luke really elevated his game this year too. Yeah, he's gotten so much better so quickly. Yep. Yeah. yeah added some new shots. Added some crazy distance to his forehand, which is good for him. Distance. He's gonna general. need it here. Yeah. This one is a, another. Yeah. This is a smoke forehand hyzer or like a hyzer flip or backhand turnover which is you know for the more human people <laughs> um is going to be a backhand turnover that stuff just short of the basket does come into the play when you mm -hmm. throw the backhand hyzer if you or a backhand anhyzer if you don't get in enough turned over which is very common you're going to leave yourself about a 45 50 footer which isn't terrible but this green does run away um at that angle and that is exactly what you didn't want to do. If you have that, so like, good. yeah, that, that hyzer forehand, that yeah. it's a real, cause it does kind of play a little bit uphill, I'd say. Yep, it does. Um, so you're it, really throwing 340 yeah, uphill on 340 a pure high. hyzer. Um, That's so crazy. Yeah. Just let's just do it again. Yeah, just two of them in a row <laughs> right next to each other. <laughs> That's so good. Playing so partner good. golf. They just don't want to give up the lead. Yeah. So the Chandler's going to show you the backhand Anheuser play here. This is probably like a slower fairway driver or maybe even a mid. I, th I want to say that's a comment. He probably. Has, he bags I that's, know more than That's one. exactly what I was talking about. That's that first the blush. most common play if you turn it over enough is you're going to be in that stuff. You might have a straddle yeah. one way or the other. And it's usually like 18 feet, which isn't bad, but you might just not have a putt. Yeah. I really would prefer they take that out um, just so you – like, don't punish those people that threw a good shot with a backhand turnover. Mm -hmm. Here's a good lefty hole, finally. I was going to say why it gets a break. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he doesn't have – this is this should be pretty – Chandler elementary. should get this. Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah. Hit a little bit of stuff on that putt, it looked like. But He's a big guy. He's got some long legs. See, I would have to get down to a knee and, like, do, like, an Anheuser <laughs> putt with my short little legs. Why it confidently smashes that into the chains from 15. And he has a little bit of a straddle left. Finally getting some green on Wyatt's scorecard. Good to see from him. Yeah. He's got a couple of holes coming up that lefties. He really needs to get them to just keep yeah. that confidence going into the yep. next, last two rounds. But he's got some lefty holes still available to him. At the end. at very beginning and at the very end of the round, there's mm -hmm. a couple lefty favor lines here. Yep. So he, he does get a break. It's the middle that's tough for yeah. Wyatt. The almost entire course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> almost, yeah. Hole 16 now, 356 feet. There's a tight gap off the tee. Mm -hmm. It can be a little bit of a mental game. A low-ish, I would say, canopy kind of guarding you getting out of the woods. But as long as you get past all that it cleanly, it's really just a distance check to get to the basket. Mm -hmm. It's uphill the whole way. 370-ish. Yeah, if you throw 370 with a rafter or with a driver, then you just throw that shot. The biggest mistake I see is actually throwing too high. Mm -hmm. And so either clipping the canopy or uh, hyzering early. Yeah, and so Luke is good. putting this on a ton of Anheuser because again, like a Raptor, I think. Yeah, because he can throw something more stable than everything else, and then all of us mortals can. So he's going to do that. It's a very technical forehand. Like yeah. forehand is favorable on this because how that hill yes. slants. Um, only on the green though. Off the tee, the that's Off so the tee, much harder. Yeah, and he hit a little bit of stuff on the way out, or probably yep. would have been fine. I think that was like his one of the hellfires he's had for a little while. So it's a little bit flippier than. Um, like his new Hellfires, mm -hmm. but yeah, here's another Raptor. It looked like from Chandler, if I he, read that right. Off yeah, the, off it's the a top. Captain's Raptor. Yeah, he loves those start team. out really stable. I haven't thrown one of those. Those are really stable, right? Yeah. yeah so like brand new, there it's more stable than that. That's his like seasoned one. Yeah. So he's allowed. I know like, that Luke has a lot of those. Yep. Yeah. He has a couple like dark colored ones. Yep. Yeah. Here's another. This needs to stay flipping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that works. That was great. Are we going to be probably the like a, one out? I don't know. If, do they still, still throw Saint Pros for Dynamic or like probably an Explorer or something like that? If I were to guess. Yeah, I don't know his bag well enough to guess. Ooh, this looks too floaty. Yeah. Yeah. Not gonna get Darn this one. It. Luke getting a stroke advantage? Question mark. Yeah, I guess if he makes the putt. Good putt from Wyatt. Yeah. yeah. 
Come on, Wyatt. Finish get strong. That, four in a row. Comp- yeah, eight would be... I mean, if he could finish eight after That'd be what fine. he had. I yeah. mean, that's a still probably pretty close to 1,000 rated, I would say. Luke. Yep, up and down. Takes a stroke lead. Mm-hmm. That's really important in these last two holes. Yeah. These last two holes can swing. And it's probably worth noting, too, that looking at those last few holes, 14 plays as the second hardest hole. Not surprising. 15 plays as the fourth easiest hole. Surprising. And then 16 plays as the sixth easiest hole. So, like, we go, or I'm sorry, sixth hardest hole. So it goes hard, easy, hard. And hole 17 and 18 are both on the harder end of the spectrum. I'll let yeah. you decide which one's which, but break this one down for us, RJ. Yeah, this one, if you have a long forehand, just goes forehand, forehand down the road there. Uh, I believe the right side was out of bounds for this event, too. Um, so you really have to throw it in that fairway. They don't, you know, some people will bail out quite a bit to the right and have, you know, like a backhand something or a forehand into it. Um, if you can just throw 300, 300 with a forehand, it's a little bit easier. If you don't have that or if you try something else, that's where you can get into um, so six, seven, eights yeah. very easily. Yeah, there is an OB line that runs along between 17 16. In fact, it's so hard to reach from 16 that if you try to get to it, you might not. Right. But it does come into play here. Smoked. That one's smoked. This is... That's what I'm talking about. He added so much power. Yeah, I mean, that's going to make it like 250 yeah. into the basket Pitch. at most. Yeah, but um, it does come into play on the right side here on 17 because the if you have a lot of power and you mm-hmm. want to be safe from the road, the old play used to be just smash something on Anheuser over the trees. Yeah, this is a really technical backhand. But, I, I try to throw backhand, and I don't do it as well as Chandler just did there. That's that was, so good. That was really good. That's going to make this hole so much because that's farther than Luke's was even. Yeah, it's they're really close, but it is a little farther than Luke's for sure. Yeah, that opens up that like a really easy forehand angle. This one should be a pretty elementary for your boy Wyatt. Yeah. Uh, I think he didn't, he wanted to hang that out a little wider because with that angle, you just want to throw it with the road. Yeah. Cause it's really hard for you to not get back and bounce. If you throw it along the road with the right angle, mm-hmm. even Andy probably wanted to swing that. Maybe he's just, he might be, he plays playing more it for, spike. Yeah. He's yeah. probably throwing it for like 300, 300 kind of yep. like I mentioned. Yep. Same um, desk. He has a lot times. more. Yeah, he has a lot more <laughs> control with that. This looks like that Hellfire again. I would assume. So he's probably like 280 into the pin from here. I would imagine. Yep. It it's really hard to not get back in bounds when you hang it out to, on this left side for the second shot. Mm-hmm. I've seen it. I've done it. Uh, <laughs> um, getting to the 18 uh, T pad. Yeah. Done that a few times. But sure. Yeah. It's um, it can be really easy and it can also be really hard. Luke finding a wind or not Luke. That's Wyatt. Wyatt finding a window there. Not, Technical shot. Yeah. Didn't get quite the scoot action he wanted, but he's in circle 20 feet. Yeah. It looked like that was like a slow where like mid or putter that yeah. he threw on that. So you're not going to get that, that skip that he's probably wanted. This looks like a zone. <laughs> Just how lightly he has to throw. That. Yeah. Yeah. That may, that makes the hole a lot easier when you just go forehand, forehand. He's, he mushed on that. Forehand, yeah. Though. That was a big shot. Yeah. And then Chandler looks like he's just going to go a little bit left of that tree, just like that. Yep, right in the pocket. Bang. Yep, yep up and down. Making it look he, easy. It, he, I think he got a little tighter than that tree than he probably wanted to, but, you know. He's not normally a forehand player, so we'll yeah. forgive him. Yeah. Yeah, this hole plays as, like, one of the middle packs, but on the harder side, so probably the yeah. eighth, eighth or seventh easy, hardest holes, excuse me, but... Um, definitely one of these, you know, if you're looking to get birdies here, you should be able to get this mm-hmm. one good separator from the field though. Cause the yep. lower level players are not going to get birdies on this every time. Yeah. Like you mentioned six sevens in play for them. It's mm-hmm. not really in play for Marweed. Cause even if he messed up, he would just take a, the bogey by take, you know, 50 feet in front of the pad. You would think so. And then just go pitch, pitch and take yep. his bogey or whatever. But, um, so like it's very good frame. separator, very good separator. Good star frame. Yeah, great one for this card. 15 and 14 going into the last hole. Oh, I mean, they're they're cooking here. Luke's trying to get that course record. Hole 18 is going to be tough to do it. Hardest hole on the day. Not surprising. You have OB on the road on the left side the entire way. You have OB on these two central island bushes as well. The first one isn't really in play as much for if you have enough power. The second one, if you try to go for max distance, comes yep. into play pretty quickly. If you mush it, yeah. So you really want to just kind of be in the either right side of that bush or go highs or left of it. And then on the left side, you have the forehand approach into this green. The road is in play, obviously, over that. So if you land OB, you have to go all the way back. 
But if you're on the right side, you can kind of throw a hyzer shot around the corner there. Luke says he's going to go for it. He's getting a big run up for this. Yeah, he's going past, probably trying to go past the bush. I think this was a good win for this. I think it was like a left or right, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly, which is, you know, not entirely possible. So Luke says he's trying to go over that second bush and uh -oh. just try to get to the left side, and it catches that uh -oh. skinny tree in the front. Oh, no. Puts him right in OB, and that's... I, think he got, I don't think he got the angle right that he wanted on yeah. that. I'm, sure, I'm assuming he's trying to turn that more. And Chandler uh, looks like that. He was just, he's trying to bail out left of that. And he's going to catch the edge Ooh, of that bush. Yeah. The one. This, this is not looking good. This is not looking Dang. good. I mean, Luke has to throw in now to have yeah. the course record. I, I, uh, I mean, at this point, you're just trying to get a par, I would assume. And Mar, we, this opens the door to Mar. I mean, so we don't know that it's OB off the tee. Like, Luke and there's no, oh. we don't have flags, right? So, I mean, Mar, we doesn't know that he's OB. It looked absolutely perfect from yeah. our angle. And so Mar, we's like, hey, I just got to keep within a stroke here, not knowing that a, a good drive here could get him tied with Luke. Yeah, I'm surprised all, everyone kind of bailed out left. I think that's a I think that's a smart play for the forehand players here. Yeah, for forehand players. Wyatt, Marweed, and Luke all want to be on the left because that forehand approach is more open. God, this is really unfortunate for yeah, Chandler. This is real this is so hard for Chandler. This is so far too. He's got himself down to nine under. That's like as good as you can play that. Get, this needs a big no. skip. Oh, the fact that he even got close to yeah. the circle is crazy. On the edge. I mean Chandler has some sneaky power. That was power. like probably five hundred feet. It was like probably downhill 500 feet. So yeah. it's like 480, but that's a pump. Oh, yeah. Miss that stuff. No, don't do it. Yeah. Get it's, out. It's going to do it to him. Up, uh, after building that momentum for the last three holes. Yeah. I Get mean, that's at best a bogey now. You go from like, man, I might be able to finish this eight down to six down. That just, that really will kind of kill some confidence. Marweed now knows that he's OB. So yeah. he's going to go with his backhand, which is a little safer, so mm -hmm. so he doesn't take it all the way back. Circle two. Yep. And there's two lines painted here. So one was incorrectly painted, so yep. they covered it in green paint and covered another one in white. So if you're looking at the two lines, you're like, why are there two? It's like they, they made it. They try to make it blend in. Yep. I mean, like, to be fair, a lot of tournaments and a lot of tournament directors won't even make that effort. Yeah. So I'm always happy to see that. That Luke, was a really good shot. He almost did throw that in. He almost did get course record. <laughs> sure, why not? Well, we're all up there except for Wyatt now. Wyatt's got this up approach. Oh, shot. you got to watch out for that sign. I've seen people doink that sign and be out of bounds again. Jared stole it last year at States. Yeah, I but mean, he didn't go B. But I mean, he doinked the sign. Ooh, Ooh. good shot. Yeah, right. that's a good like band aid to put on just mm -hmm. to get a tap in par after just not executing on that second shot. Big putt here from Marweed. Oh. oh. <laughs> so bad definitely low yeah just just, just wide a, enough uh yeah maybe just a just a li little bit on that low le right side. sometimes those a lot of times those do catch you know that just Chandler. lifted that yeah yeah there's Sees that you see the left or right there why it has this first tap and bogey he was fighting so hard at the end there <sighs> you just feel yeah feel, feel bad but chandler's gonna have one too because of the ob earlier as yeah well. that would have been a really good save too i don't think yeah. i've ever seen somebody save it from that first bush i know that was crazy to even have like you said even have a putt from there that's no such birdies a good shot. on this one then yeah it, like, it did play as the hardest hole to be fair plus Few, two for the card yeah fewest birdies in the entire How many birdies were there there were 10 total on this round um, so very few birdies for our field, but uh, lots of OB strokes as well. Three of them total for our card. But yeah, take a look at our back nine scores and our standings at the same time. Let's take a look at them. Chandler and Wyatt not ending the way they wanted with Nate eight and Hecker. six what the down. Heck? Nate Hecker, one of the first cards to yeah. tee off, set yeah. the pace early. Mm -hmm. Marweed and Luke answered, and they're going to be on lead card with him. And Calvin Caldwell going to be joining us for the second round here. Luke's going to say goodbye, scoot away from us for this round. Very happy with his uh, one-stroke lead on the field. and uh, 15 down. Yeah, that's so good. If you haven't already, check us out on Patreon. Support the channel so we Subscribe can continue to do uh, more coverages in the future. Your guys' Secure support ASMR. makes this possible. <laughs> Subscribe to Crew 42. Do it. You have to. <laughs> we'll see you guys in round two. No, please subscribe.